everybody, Sister Fantastic here with Sweet Pea, and it's a great day. It's Saturday, and we need to do some self-care today. My husband's out mowing the grass, and I just mailed off a bunch of packages, and so for those of you that have recently won my giveaways in the last couple of weeks, all the packages went out today. Um, I spent $70 on postage. Oh my gosh. But in all fairness, 12 of that was for postcards. So, you know, anyhow, I got a bunch of thank you notes I still need to write. And so this whole week I've been trying to like catch up, you know, on communication and just, you know, shipping and doing the drawings and all that kind of thing. So I'm behind on some of my other videos, but rather than trying to catch up at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pick up where I left off and then we'll just continue on with my regular schedule from this point forward so anyway today is self-care saturday so i want to sit here and do a little skin care with you guys and um, maybe do an unboxing and you know use a couple of the products and just try some stuff out so anyhow let me put her down say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye She's begging me to stay, y'all. This is her way of begging me to stay. I love you. All right. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. I've got some little tidbits here uh, that I want to plow through first. And uh, so anyhow, I have my scent bird. So this is for September. I'm behind. Anyway, it, I got the scent um, Robert... Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Robert Pigway, P-I-G-U-E-T, Fracas is the scent. It has tuberose, jasmine, accord, sandalwood, and musk. And, of course, y'all know Scentbird. They send these little cardboard containers, and then there's a vial inside. This is a French perfume, and, oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so good. It's soft, it's feminine, it's floral, it's just beautiful. And uh, I really like it. It's got, a, there's such a freshness to it. So anyhow, I'm going to enjoy trying that out. So let me set that to the side. I did a little haul. For those of you that have been following me on Lipstick Fridays, there was um, a lip gloss that I really have fallen in love with from Alme called the Greek Goddess. And it's a um, holographic like purple violet. Let me just put some on. It's got like a fuchsia vibe to it. And it's stunning. And normally I'm not gravitated to these type of colors, but because of the frost, that pinkish holographic frost, I have just fallen in love with it. So I've just, you know, mixed and matched and played around with it with other, it plays very well with other uh, lip liners, lipsticks, and so forth. Well, because I fell in love with the formula so much, I went on the Walmart uh, website to see what other shades that they have. And so I found these shades here. And so I picked these three up in a little Walmart haul. Uh, this is called uh, Mystic, number 300 Mystic. So let me just swatch it for you. And it's, um, these are all pretty light, like toppers. Anyway, that's kind of got like a, a goldish um, vibe to it and then I got this one here is this is in the shade uh, 200 angelic which it's gold also but it's like a different shade of gold mystics like a rose gold where this one's more of a um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a gold that's not not necessarily yellow, but it's it's got like a peachy vibe to it. 
and I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the difference on my hand or not, but there it is compared to Mystic. And then the third one that I got was, um, it's called uh, 900 Gilded, which is more of a yellowish type gold. And I haven't opened this one yet. So let me see if I can get the package open. I didn't realize it wasn't open yet. But I like gold. I like the, it, well, it's the formula. And what Walmart had available, you know, the day that I was shopping. So this formula, this particular line has been out for a while from Alme. And I was fortunate enough to find these. And so, you know, when, when you're looking for something according to the formula, it's not necessarily the color that you're going for. But anyway, this is like a lemon gold. And it's probably the brightest gold. So you've got like a rose gold and like a peachy gold and then that lemon gold. So anyway, which they're all three totally different from this one that I'm wearing. But I have four of these now in my collection and I will enjoy using all of them. So you're gonna be seeing you know these lip glosses over other lipsticks so all right so let me just put those to the side little tidbits there okay and then I got my Walmart uh, box in so let me show you that I don't know why it took so long to get here, but anyway, I was one of the last ones I feel like to receive it. And uh, I don't know what their methods are at Walmart, but anyway, I like to shop at Walmart. And recently I downloaded the app where we could do the pickup outside. And I order online from Walmart because there's certain things that, you know, you can only get by ordering online as well. So anyhow, the box is $7.66. I think nowadays and it comes with a little pamphlet and so the items that I received were the real technique sponge which I love real techniques and then I got a cleanser from Burt's Bees facial cleanser okay and these are full-size products and then I received um, the the mask Sieste Moi full size mask. So it's cucumber and aloe gel facial mask. And then I received the Bliss Incredibil glycolic acid peel. It's 10% glycolic acid pads. And this is just a sample. But if you bought uh, the full size of 15, it would be $21.94. And then I received um, the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, which is a full size, valued at $5.94. So $5.94 for the body polish. Um, the mask is $10. The facial cleanser is $8.34, and the sponge is $4.88. And then the Bliss, um, which is one out of 15, a uh, full size is $21.94, so you divide that by 15. So this is worth probably about, I don't know, I'm guessing, a dollar and a quarter. So anyway, my box, I paid $7.66 and $4.8, $12.13. 6 it's it's got it's worth about $30 maybe a little over I don't have the exact number but I can put that down in the description so anyway it's worth it you know it's worth it um, do I get overly excited about the Walmart boxes not necessarily I could probably live without them but I do get some products that I normally wouldn't get in other boxes and the plus on ordering these Walmart boxes is that you know Walmart sells all these products 
and so you can get them you know at Walmart if you want to reorder so anyway there's a safety seal on this mask so let's sing the safety seal song it's got a safety seal a safety seal we like it when the products have a safety seal all right so let's let's use a little skincare here I know I put on that lip gloss but <laughs> uh, let's start with this glycolic peel pad We'll go ahead and use it. Oh shoot, I just dropped it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. You know, it seems like I have some things like this already. Maybe from another brand. I'm not sure if it's Bliss or not. But it seems like I have the full size of... But anyway, I like these kind of pads like this. They're really handy, especially when you're traveling. But since there's just the one in the box... And I haven't used a glycolic product in a while. And I do need to exfoliate. I'm going to apply this to my skin today. And it's good and juicy, which is awesome. Get it all these crusty places. These dry, crusty places. The weather's changing, and so my skin is demanding more moisture and you know you have to resurface your skin with glycolic products from time to time because physical exfoliants aren't quite enough so it's been close to a month since I had that fiasco with the pumpkin and cinnamon mud mask that uh, I applied to my face by mistake and so since then I've only exfoliated one time and it was a gentle physical exfoliating uh, type product and that's it so I'm ready my skin's ready and I need it but I did have a compliment on a recent video where someone said my skin looked really smooth and I really appreciate that but if you could feel it like I was washing my face you know and I could feel that it was time you can feel a certain amount of um, bumpiness or texture I don't know how to explain it but right here in this part of my face I can feel it it's like dead skin that needs to come off but it's hanging on for dear life because I'm an old lady so this is juicy enough to come down here on the decollete and I'm gonna do it yay and then with what's left over I can you know just apply it to the back of my hands which is awesome so if you buy these if you buy the full size and you get 15 of them know that just one little sheet can do your whole face very thoroughly your neck your decollete and the backs of your hands quite easily it's that juicy so anyhow it's um it's a spa strength resurfacing peel 10 percent glycolic acid so anyway, if you use these type of products, you just need to use sunscreen. Be sure when you go outside to use sunscreen. So you don't want to um, have that new skin showing and then it for it to get burnt. You know. So let's open up this, um, while that works for a minute, let's use this resurfacing um, exfoliating body polish. I want to feel it and, and smell it and you know give you guys my opinion about the texture and the smell Ooh, look at it it looks like it looks almost like a really light pink whipped yogurt kind of a thing like a Greek yogurt almost so let me just feel this in between my fingertips oh it's got a really nice fine grit And um, it smells kind of fruity. Uh, it's pomegranate seeds and shea butter from Dove. I love Dove products, y'all. That smells really good. It's got, it smells kind of soapy, but it also, uh, you can smell that fruit in there as well. So let me grab a wipe and just wipe my fingers off. And I will put that in the shower and we'll see how that works out. So 
so but anyway it's um it'll definitely help you know get rid of any kind of rough rough dry you know texture on i get my legs especially you know it's where i my legs and arms get really dry in the winter time fall and winter. well i'm dry all year but you know you need some help with exfoliation during that time of the year especially so anyway i will have to try this uh facial cleanser out um it's got the seal from the eczema association it's created for sensitive skin um it says on the back of the package that it is cruelty free and uh so anyway i'm sure it has some really really good ingredients in it it could burt's bees is an excellent brand so that's going to be something i can report back to you on as well at a later time and then we all know the real technique sponge is like an alternate to the beauty blender it's a little bit softer and i love the shape of this it's it's got that flat edge and then the precision tip and so you know you have the round sides for pouncing foundation in and then i use that tip for the concealer and then that flat edge you know for powder and so it's a really a great little sponge and uh it doesn't last as long as some of the other sponges that i've used but it is a really nice one okay that is soaked in so let's check out this mask this is a soothing mask which is ideal for using after uh, applying glycolic products so it says gently cool and calm delicate skin with this soothing gel facial mask this unique combination of cucumber calendula and organic aloe helps soothe and hydrate the skin perfect for all skin types and those in need of a calming moisture boost so use once a week apply all over the face and neck and chest leave on for 15 minutes and using warm water and circular motions gently scrub the cheeks nose forehead and around the mouth and chin finish by rinsing well with warm water to remove and avoid use in the eye area if direct contact should occur rinse with cool water this is a cruelty free product dermatologist tested clean ingredients i'm all about that hypoallergenic and ewg verified not sure what that means i'll have to do a little research on that all right so let's apply this mask and it's a gel like substance oh yeah feels like aloe vera gel almost this feels good okay so we're just going to apply this and follow the instructions and in a few minutes i'll go wash it off and then i can you know my skin is saying thank you thank you for the treatment thank you for the treatment Okay, so I'm going to let this sit on my face. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to wait the few minutes and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts and opinions on these products. See you in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I washed off the mask off my face and I did use the facial cleanser that we received in our box from Burt's Bees and it is a very uh, creamy soft hydrating type of cleanser it's a white milky type substance there was a safety seal on the package which we like that and so i mean if you're looking for something that's gentle and hydrating um especially for dry sensitive skin i, I would recommend this for you and so i felt like it was really good for removing um the mask and for cleansing my face and i mean you can see that it, my skin looks plump and hydrated I haven't gone in with a moisturizer yet and so let me just do that really quick here while I've got you guys um, I'm gonna use this facial moisturizer from Bolero and I received this recently it's called the energy boost it's a moisturizing blend of refreshing ingredients 
of vitamin C and uh, cucumber. So all you have to do is say the word cucumber and I'm there. Hush, hush, hush. My husband's been mowing the grass and she's very aware that he's right outside the door. Sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, I just wanted to apply a little bit of moisturizer. And then I can go in later with an eye cream or whatever. Anyway. Now the male lady's here, so she's going to bark some more. So I'm going to cut this video off, y'all. So that you don't have to listen to all this incessant barking. And uh, that's just the way it is here on Saturdays with my husband home and things going on. Yeah, but this feels really good. My skin feels really good. I'm really happy with the products that I got in my Walmart box. I will use them. And, uh, you know, no complaints for me about the value. Um, so, anyway, that's my review for today. Thank you so much for watching, taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. And God bless you today is my prayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.